Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, which means that U.S. citizens do not need a passport or a visa to travel there. You can also use U.S. dollars and enjoy the same rights and protections as in the mainland. Puerto Rico has a tropical climate, with warm weather all year round and plenty of sunshine. The island is also rich in biodiversity, with a variety of ecosystems, such as rainforests, dry forests, mangroves, coral reefs, and caves. Puerto Rico has a vibrant culture, influenced by its Spanish, African, and indigenous heritage. You can experience the island's music, art, cuisine, and festivals, and learn about its history and traditions. The island is also a great destination for adventure seekers, as it offers many activities and excursions, such as zip lining, surfing, snorkeling, diving, hiking, and kayaking. Hey everyone, Morgan Soft here, asking you to like and subscribe. And kayaking. And of course, Puerto Rico has some of the most stunning beaches in the Caribbean, where you can relax and enjoy the turquoise water and white sand. How to get to Puerto Rico Puerto Rico has three international airports, Luis Munoz Marine International Airport in San Juan, Rafael Hernandez Airport in Aguadilla, and Mercedita Airport in Ponce. The most convenient and popular airport is Luis Munoz Marine International Airport, which has daily flights from many U.S. cities and some international destinations. You can also fly to Rafael Hernandez or Mercedita Airport if you want to explore the western or southern part of the island. You can find cheap flights to Puerto Rico using online tools such as Skyscanner or Google Flights. How to get around Puerto Rico The best way to get around the island is by renting a car, as public transportation is limited and unreliable. You can rent a car at the airport or in major cities and use online maps or GPS to navigate. Driving in Puerto Rico is similar to driving in the U.S., except that the signs are in Spanish and the distances are in kilometers. You should also be aware of the traffic, especially in San Juan, and the road conditions, which can be rough in some areas.